All right, I got the new belt. And basically, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run it through this fan and around, and then that way I can loop it uh, back around the crank pulley. And then after I get it there, I will work it around. And the plan is to work it around to where when I take the tension off this pulley, I can slip it on maybe either there or the alternator. Plan B would be to slip it on up here because it's easy to get to. But I will kind of be stretched from here and way down there. So plan A, plan B. I've never done the belt on this particular model. So that's what it's kind of about, the wannabe car mech, right? You just don't really know how to do it. You just figure it out as you go. Or you just know enough to be dangerous. So uh, let's see if I can get this thing on, looped around. Man, these gloves are good, man, but they get caught in a lot of places. Through. Trying to get it to fall through with not both sides falling through. If that makes sense. I don't want the whole belt to go around. I just want half the belt to go around. And this would be a lot easier if I had two hands. But, so if you have two hands. It'll go easy. It should go easy. You can kind of see I'm working it down here, popping it out at the bottom. Now it's kind of stuck on this blade. Sometimes if you just spin the that particular blade where it points down, it's a lot easier to get that out of this fan. Alright, so it's out. It's out, but I need to flip it over. So, some way in the future I'm going to have to figure out a way to hold this dang camera where I can work. I got, there has to be like a uh, magnetic stand or something. If anybody knows of one, please let me know because I will definitely need it eventually. Alright, so I got it kind of in place. So now, we're just going to work it and I'm going to work it over most of the pulleys until I get it here and then I'm going to pull the tension back, slip it on that pulley and then let the tensioner do it. That's the plan. It doesn't always work out like that. Um, it'd be great if it did, but if not, I might try the alternator pulley. Or maybe plan C or B, B, C or D. Maybe even plan E or F. <laughs> I'll try this pulley. Maybe even power steering pulley. Okay, we got the, the belt wrapped around the fan. And then, uh, and kind of fished through, and now it's just kind of laying in here. So basically what I do is I'll just look at the diagram and then try to uh, just pick a couple pulleys and work from there. Because maybe I'm just not the smartest man in the world, but sometimes this can get a little confusing. So uh, I've picked the AC and the power steering. So I know it goes over the AC and the power steering. And then there's an idler, idler pulley that it wraps around. So I'm going to try to wrap it around the idler pulley. And then go over the water pump, around the water pump pulley. All right. Which this is kind of looking like might not be the right spot because I have the crank pulley or the uh, yeah the crank pulley and the idler pulley so close together it might not work out. But I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. 
If not, I'll pick somewhere else. Maybe the uh, AC pulley. But let me get my ratchet. Get it worked back up on the tensioner. Get my handy dandy jack handle. And then try to do this. On the idler pulley. And it may work out. Then again. And I just put hit my radiator thing or something. Nope. I popped off the uh, overflow. But hey, it's gonna happen, right? All right, so I need to get this idler pulley as down as far as possible, and then slip this belt over this pulley. Sometimes. And it is installed, so as you can see, it's running around the alternator pulley, around the idler pulley. So I need to light it a little better. There you go. And then, as it turns down, it's going around the crank, coming from the bottom of the crank, and then running up around power steering, around the AC, from the AC down to an idler pulley, which is just a pulley that spins, doesn't do anything, and then to the water pump, and then back from the water pump below this, this line here, it's an AC line, and then back around to the alternator. One uh, word of caution would be, which I just kind of did this with you, when you get that idler uh, the tensioner set and the belt's tension. Please, please, please make sure that all the, the belt is in the grooves on all the pulleys. So you can kind of see this. If I get this light. You can see there's like a, it's almost in a track, so to speak. Make sure it's in the track on all those pulleys. If it's not in the track, you will swing this belt pretty quick. And then you can see it's in this one as well, in the power steering pump. If it's not in all of those, it will sling and it will get caught in the fan and it will shred a belt, break a fan, God knows what, and you will have issues. So just kind of do like a little quality check to make sure it's, uh, it's seated where it needs to be seated. So after you've done that, get it set, put the air box back together, put whatever, whatever you need back together, and then start it, and uh, we'll come and eyeball it, and then we'll take it for the ride, see how, see how it does. All right, we're gonna put this, this air box back together, by the way. I will be replacing this with a performance air filter. Not for the fact that I'm looking for better performance or better gas mileage. I just don't like changing these things every 10,000 miles. So I just I buy the, the performance like a K&N and then I just clean it. So.
So what I do is I just get the four tightening one piece at a time. I get the whole thing kind of set up. And most of these that I've seen, a little bit I have seen, uh, most of these air ducts will have all the, they'll have little notches that they go in. And uh, so you just, you know, you get them lined up back in the little notches. Like this one has a notch, you can see right here. All right, so a little tip. If your vehicle has a mass airflow sensor, anything beyond this mass sensor, if any of these clamps are loose, it would be just like having a vacuum leak up by the, the manifold, as far as I can tell. So, or at least your computer's not gonna read that because you're gonna get a reading from your mass sensor, but you're also pulling air maybe from this clamp. So really you're getting more air than what your mass, mass, mass airflow sensor is telling you. We're gonna start this, uh, start it up, see what we got. I'm gonna do one more quality check on the belt because it'll make me feel more comfortable. And then we'll start it up, see how she goes. And it looks pretty good to me, so let's start it up and see how it does. Now you heard it start and stall. Now I'm suspecting that it's doing that because of the mass sensor not being plugged in all the way. And like I said, if you're, something's going on with your mass sensor, you will have issues. So I think I got it plugged in better this time, so let's give it a shot. Good there, looking good there, looking good on that idler idler pulley down there, looking good on the water pump, and down by the tank, looking good. So we'll move over to the other side. That is the alternator. Last but not least, the Alright guys, that's it. Uh, Serpentine Belt 101. The only thing I wanted to mention is on that idler pulley, um, I had a spot that you could stick a 3H drive ratchet in. Most cars will have a nut or a bolt there that you just, you know, you stick a regular wrench or a socket with from the bugs. Uh, socket you know and ratchet on and basically it, you use it the same way you just you put your wrench or your socket and ratchet on there and you you uh, release the tension pull the belt off or release it release the tension put the belt on other than that um, if you like the video please like it and um, favorite it if you could and uh, there will be more videos on the way hopefully um, better better weather next time See you guys.